السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میرے ایک دوست نے سوال کیا کہ قرآن میں لکھا ہے کہ ہم نے ان کے دل و دماغ پہ مہر لگا دی ہے دماغ تو سوچنے سمجھنے کی صلاحیت رکھتا ہے تو دماغ کا سمجھ میں آتا ہے کہ دماغ پہ مہر لگی دل تو اس سائنٹس پکس ریزن سے کچھ سوچتا سمجھتا نہیں تو اس پہ مہر لگانے کا کیا مطلب دا بیسٹ کوشچ از گوڈنگ واسط قرآن ہم نے دل و دماغ پہ مہر لگا دیا دیٹ فیف ٹرانسلیشن وہ اس کوڈنگ واسط قرآن و سر بخرا چیپٹر نمبر ٹو واس نو سیون وچ سیز دیٹ اللہ ہیز پٹ اصیل آن از ہارٹ دیر بک ورلڈ از کلب کلوب می ہارٹس وی ہیو پٹ اصیل آن دا ہارٹس آف دوز ہوا کافرس اینڈ دا ویریس ایکسپلینیشن گیون فار دس اینڈ اف یو ہیو مائی کسٹ آن قرآن ماڈل سائنس وچ آئی گیو ٹاک ان سب سے دیکھ دا ڈیٹیل آنس از گیون اینڈ مائی ایکسپلینیشن از دیٹ کلب از این عربک ورڈ which has got various meanings. One of the meanings of Kalb is heart. That is the organic heart. One of the meanings of Kalb is a center. Center of understanding. A center. Center meaning? It is a brain, you could call. So Allah has put a seal. So here we have to choose. Sometimes one meaning of Arabic is correct. Sometimes all are correct. You have to choose. Like ikra bismi rabbika lezi khalaq, khalaq al-insan min alaq. Read, recite in the name of the Lord who created, who created human beings from something which clings. Alaq means something which clings, a leech-like substance and a congealed clot of blood. Today science says all three are correct. But sometimes only one is correct. So here, if you want to take the various meanings, kalb, one of the meaning is heart, organic heart. One is the center. So Allah has put a seal on the center. That most of the translations, there is no translation, it says dimaq. I haven't come across the translation saying dimaq. But... If you translate it, it can mean the Magh also. And there's one more verse in Surah Hajj, chapter 22, that it is not their eyes which are blind, it is their kalb in their sadar which is blind. So now here it says that the heart in the chest is blind. That's a counter-argument. These people, these kafir, it is not their eyes which are blind, it is the heart in their sadar. Now one of the meaning of sadar is the chest, and the other meaning of sadar is the center. Like how we have, you know, sadar of the jalsa. head of the jalsa or like if you go to the muslim country pakistan sadar so and so means it's a center like how we say chok here in india so there they call sadar again sadar means a center so it is the dimag which is there in the center it can be taken the other meaning this is one of the explanation one of the explanation which can be a literal way of explaining a thing literal by loga the second way of explaining this is that if we analyze that a language develops And many things are used in the language which are not literal. So literally, if you take, if you want to analyze this, one of the answers that I've given you, that one of the meaning of kalb is center, that Allah has sealed the thinking power. The other way, if you analyze, that many words are used in every language, but the way it's developed, literal meaning may be something else. For example, the meaning of disaster means what? What is the meaning of disaster? a calamity, something bad that has happened. But disaster literally means an evil star. Disaster means an evil star. Today we know that a calamity has nothing to do with the evil star. Does that have nothing to do with evil star? No. But yet we use the English language disaster. We use these words. And furthermore, we say that today the timing of sunset is, whatever it is, 7.14, 7.15. Timing of sunrise is 6.02. We use it or not? in a language. Does the sun rise? Does the sun rise? No. Many of us are done science. We learned in school that the sun is there. The earth is there. The earth keeps on rotating and revolving around the sun. The sun is revolving in the solar system, but the sun is not rising and setting. But yet, even though we know scientifically the sun does not rise, yet we use these terminologies. Sun rises so and so, sunset is so and so. You know, a scientist, I mean, we say that, you know, we tell the people we love our mother or our wife that we love you from the bottom of the heart. Even the scientist tells his wife, I love you from the bottom of the heart. Imagine the wife telling that the center of love is in the brain. You being a scientist, how come you love me from the bottom of the heart? You should love me from the bottom of the brain. I mean, that's wrong because the love center is not in the bottom of the brain. <laughs> But yet as a scientist, as a doctor, if I would tell my mother, I love you, I love you from my heart, the love is not in the heart. The love center is in the brain. But that is the way language is developed. You know, we say that memorize this by heart. The center of memory is in the heart. Where is it? In the brain. But yet in English language we say that memorize by heart. I have learnt it by heart. It should be I have learnt it by brain. So this is how languages have developed. But yet we don't say, what language are you speaking? You are a scientist. 
You love your mother, you love your wife from the heart. You should love from the brain. So these are languages that have developed. Similarly, one is a literal meaning of given the explanation. Second is if you kulub, kulub kalb again, like how we say memory, in English books you'll find. In literary books, in scientific books it's mentioned. Though science says that the memory is in the brain, the love is in the brain, yet we say by heart. These are languages that are developed. Similarly, when we can say that we memorize by heart, I don't object to the scientist. When the scientist says, I love you from my heart, you don't object. Similarly, this language is a language for the human beings. How even Arabs speak. When we speak in English, we have no problem. When the Arabs speak, why do we have a problem? So an Arab will not take out this mistake. An Arab realizes when Allah says, has put a seen on his heart. What he means is seen on his understanding. Hope that answers the question.